Okay. So, my name is Alex McGee, and I'm interviewing Susan Elizabeth Justice for Georgia State University's Women's March Oral History Project. Okay. The date is March 26, 2017, mm. and the interview is taking place in Talking Rock, Georgia. Mm -hmm. So, first question we're going to go into, who are you? So, um, what year were you born, and where were you born? I was born in England in 1942. Okay. So, I'm now 75. Okay. Um, and <laughs> I really wouldn't have. <laughs> I'm now 75. I have uh, or had six children, mm -hmm. and one was born in the U.S. Okay. That was why, in fact, we came here really because he was born here, and he was born with profound uh, mm -hmm. mental retardation mm -hmm. and other birth defects. Yeah. So that was the reason we came to the States, mm -hmm. because we were in the Bahamas prior to that. So you knew when you were in the Bahamas that you he, needed to come to the U.S., basically? Well, he was, we were, I thought I was having, quote, a normal child, mm -hmm. but wanted him to be born in as good a facility as mm -hmm. possible, and that wasn't uh, in Freeport, the Bahamas. Okay. And also, uh, two of our children were already at high school in, oh, wow. in the States. Yeah. So we were, uh, my husband could fly, mm -hmm. so he would fly him to school, fly back, okay, and you know. So where were they in the states? Uh, they were in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. No, excuse me, Boca Raton. Okay, and Boca then Raton. when you went to go give birth, you went to Boca Raton. Uh, it was um, what is it, Del Rey, which okay. is very near yeah. Boca. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. And uh, so after he was born, and we realized he had such profound um, needs mm -hmm. or significant issues, we decided to look into going to Florida. But I hated the flatness and the <laughs> <laughs> and the sterility of it. So we looked into coming to Georgia because it seemed mm -hmm. much more what I we both felt comfortable with, yeah. with the hills. And, and what did you say that what year you were coming to Florida? We came in here. We came into Florida in seventy seven. Okay. Okay. It, uh, when yeah. yeah, and then came to Georgia shortly well, thereafter. Well, we came in. Um, we uh, we came to the Bahamas in seventy three. Okay. And then came to the, to the states in uh, seventy seven, okay. yeah. So and uh, my husband is of Czech origin, mm -hmm. and um, we have been married now uh, how many years? Fifty seven yeah. years. But he had grown up uh, under uh, Hitler mm -hmm. um, as a child, and I'm uh, guessing he's a little older than you. Yes, he's ten yeah. years older okay. than I am. So yeah, and also saw the Russians occupy. The Czech, uh, you know, the Czech yeah. Republic, and we also personally, as a family, witnessed uh, the uh, Russians marching into Prague in mm -hmm. in '68. Oh, wow. So we've had some interesting, yeah, you know, views of life. Yeah. Well, then this is a good next question. Can you describe your family's political leanings? Uh, very much <laughs> democratic. Yeah. And um, all my children, and all be they. Uh, Max has been in Goldman Sachs. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex is a heart surgeon in Florida. Um, Julie is a you know sort of ACL lawyer mm -hmm. in Chicago, but they mm -hmm. all vote Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. what about your parents? Were did um, they instill any sort of? No, food? they they have died. My parents, of course. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they would you know be a fair old age now, but um, they strangely enough, I think in Eng England would have voted. Um, uh, you know what do you call it conservative mm -hmm. and I think we would at that time mm -hmm. but uh, you know you begin to feel out what is what you feel comfortable with mm -hmm. and uh, definitely our priorities here were seeing that there was so much um, racial uh, disparity mm -hmm. here um, you know I have a wonderful woman called Myreen, who is a very close friend, who helped me when Robert was young, a mm -hmm. black lady. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I call her regularly, we speak regularly, and, and George calls, uh, she calls George her white husband, <laughs> you know, and it, it's, we just have a very close relationship. Yeah. So, um, you know, the, and my husband is half Jewish, mm -hmm. and so he, being in the war and witnessing all the issues of the Second World War, yeah. Is very familiar with uh, what can happen. Right, right. Intimately familiar. Yeah, yeah. intimately familiar. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, you had children. Um, mm -hmm. Did you work 
when you were nursing? No. Okay. No, that the children were the work. Okay. So you were a homemaker. <laughs> I was a homemaker, yeah, a absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And particularly because Robert was so profoundly involved, mm -hmm. um, he never spoke. Um, he managed to be able to gesture to you his needs. Mm -hmm. Um, my husband was, e e you know, brilliant with him, mm -hmm. uh, as were most of the children, well, all the children. Yeah. But um, it was a full-time job just taking care of his needs. Yeah. And uh, it's strange because people would assume it was all negative. Mm -hmm. And I would say, um, by no means, n no. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, because the the, we learnt so much from the experience of having a child so involved, so profound, particularly as it contrasted so much with the other children right. who was so able. And so um, I think it, it taught us many lessons of which I am very grateful for. Mm. Um, what political party, I think you kind of already answered this, but what political party would you say you support today? Oh, the Democrats. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the Republicans, no, I just don't have any affinity mm -hmm. to that. Uh, you know, it seems everybody whom I meet who's a Republican, I sort of think, oh, I guessed it, I knew it, before I almost, you know. Yeah, you, you can know. read it almost, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you been involved in political activities in the past? Nope. So this, okay, well, mm. that's really interesting. Nope. So, nope. so what changed? Oh, 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 oh Trump. Yeah. Oh, so it was Trump specifically. Um, yes, because I was, I was my husband and I were both so furious that that uh, Hillary was so maligned because of not having a proper server, mm -hmm. you know, and and um, it just, I mean, uh, I loved Obama because of what he did. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, I mean, I think he will go down in history as one of the most amazing presidents we've ever had. Um, his family uh, were one. Uh, how he re reared his family in that environment mm -hmm. so beautifully. Uh, I I just give him, he and Michelle, full credit mm -hmm. for what they did. The, you know, it's just beautiful. Yeah. I mean, the as compared with what is now, it's all made. Well, it's more than night and day. Mm -hmm. It's like heaven and hell. Yeah. Really. So, like, Trump wins the election. In, I mean, in, we had a party. Okay. We were having a party at our house. Oh, for election when, night? Yeah. On, on election night. Yeah. Um, because it seemed, my husband watched uh, Nate Silver, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and was, um, you know, it seemed, until Comey said that stupid thing, right? And I could have rung, we could have wrung his neck <laughs> at that time. But anyway, um, we still hoped, we still thought there was a good possibility. So, I mean, here I was catering for, I suppose, 30 or 40 mm -hmm. people at our house um, and sort of all being positive. And as the night grew on, we yeah. thought, holy shit, <laughs> what is happening? I think you know? That's a lot of people were saying that. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, I mean, and Im immediately my husband, my immediate my husband was almost crying. Yeah. Because having lived through what he has lived through, he said, don't let me have to go through this at the end of my life yeah. because I saw so much as a child. Yeah. And he really did. He, he believed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, mean, ca I mean, horrendous things. You wouldn't, yeah. you know. Yeah. It, it's painful to think that a child had to witness that. Yeah. You know. Um, so you guys got politically involved after Trump yes. won. So mm -hmm. how did that come about? Like, did you meet someone? Did you seek it out? Well, I suppose we had already sought out by the friends who came to the, okay. to the you know, who yeah. came and joined us, yeah. that they were Lynn and, and Marie and mm -hmm. Don and other folks. And then, um, so we were already a, a united group, mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. uh, but almost uh, very much aware that we were looked on slightly strangely in mm -hmm. a community like Bent Tree. Right. You know, you sort of, um, in other words, you don't talk, I mean, it was sort of, you don't talk openly. I mean, George is now brilliant at sort of starting to communicate to people and sort of like, well, what do you think? And, well, why would you think like this? Mm -hmm. How, you know, but I am a little bit more afraid mm -hmm. to expose myself like this, mm -hmm. uh, to that, like that. Um, 
I've always been a pleaser, I guess, and it fe it feels very uncomfortable to um, feel I'm different. Mm. But even somebody whom I used to knit with, they begin to know where you stand mm -hmm. without they figure and, it out. and they sort of you know they s and I let them slide off. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. But it, as you say, when we heard about the rally, then I thought, oh my gosh, yes, I've got to do this. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I went and got online and got my pussy shirt. <laughs> <laughs> because first of all, it's Putin, yeah. and uh, and of course the pussy riot um, was was a symbol, yeah, uh, or uh, some one of the symbols, mm -hmm. should I say? So uh, then I got to knitting, you know, a dozen mm -hmm. hats for all my friends who wanted to participate. Yeah. So uh, yeah. that was how it started. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have family members who have participated in activist movements? Uh, Julie, my daughter. Okay. Can you describe what she's done or what she does? Uh, well, she's a lawyer, um, civil rights lawyer, okay. I guess you say. Uh, she is. Uh, she's gay and married to a, an attorney. Uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, um, judge. A judge. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, a judge. Right. And it was interesting because Mary would have been, uh, she's a magistrate judge, mm. she wasn't a, um, there's a slight difference between being on the, uh, the full uh, court, mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure, that, but in other words, she was uh, with Dick Durbin, up in, uh, what's his name, uh, Representative Durbin, mm -hmm. up in, in Illinois, and he wanted to have her mm -hmm. full, you know, the, the, the full-fledged thing, but his counterpart was Republican. And, and oh, 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 Mary had successfully um, uh, protected in you know, a lawsuit mm -hmm. being a, a public, uh, she was a, a, a defender, mm -hmm. um, a Palestinian, okay. who they thought had um, ties, uh, who was sending money, as they thought, to mm -hmm. Palestine. Mm -hmm. And she was able to successfully um, defend him, mm -hmm. saying this was not true, and of course she was looked on negatively when they were looking at her for becoming a full-fledged judge, yeah. judge, because she, had, although you're, the whole idea of the law innocent is so you can innocent, you yeah, know. Yeah, but what true. was phenomenal about that is that uh, he has subsequently died, but I was present at a wedding, uh, a, um, uh, you know, a Palestinian wedding mm -hmm. at Christmas, mm -hmm where she was almost honoured as a guest of honour. Oh, wow. And it was a huge, I mean, there were about 300 people there, and Julian and my daughter and mm -hmm. I went, and Mary went, we were sort of guests mm -hmm. at this very significant wedding mm -hmm. in, in Chicago. So I saw how wonderful, you know, these folks were, and mm -hmm. why was there such bias, and so, you know, you know and, and now they must be absolutely fearful, mm -hmm. you know, so... Yeah. That, I think, was the beginning of the inspiration that I had to do something. Right, you couldn't sit on the sidelines no, anymore. No, no, yeah. right, yeah. right. Um, have you participated in a march before? No, okay. no. Julie did. I remember her when there was, a, I think, a KKK rally in, um, uh, where was that, in uh, Cumming. In, oh, in Cumming, Georgia? Right. Okay. Yeah, and so, um, and she was then about, I don't know what age, in the 70s, probably in the teenage years. Okay. So, I mean, I guess as a family, we've always advocated. Well, and you've, you've encouraged your children, it seems. Yes, yeah, right. To have right. their political beliefs. Mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. So that they make it right. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like you may have kind of answered this, but why did you want to march on January 21st? You said you saw it, and... Well, felt like I need to do it. Yes, ab I mean, absolutely. And I think by then we were a group. And um, women's rights, I mean, I'm sure you've seen some of these. Mm -hmm. And that, that he, w you know, he won't show his taxes. And mm -hmm. I thought this was brilliant. I, prefer, I honestly prefer an actual swamp. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, um, and so there was a group of us. And um, people, again, who I wouldn't have thought... Um, would really want to march, mm -hmm. who were sort of quiet, right. not like me, a little more vociferous. But um, it, it was just um, 
when we decided to go, and then I heard Julie was taking three buses. And Marie, you know what I mean? It, yeah. So, I mean, when I look at the, um, the mall that day and sort of see all the women there, mm -hmm. I think, phenomenal. I mean, and it was huge in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, wind, the weather was foul. Mm -hmm. It absolutely pissed with the rain. Yeah. And I took a poncho, and of course it just blew up. <laughs> but the, the so whole attitude, down, yeah. the whole attitude was just vibrant. Mm -hmm. oh, and this was the I other one I wanted to show you, because um, in in the crowd there, I suddenly found um, my uh, church's three, <laughs> uh, the Holy Family. Uh, where are we? Um, three of the ladies from the Holy Family from the Episcopal Church, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, sort of showing their, their, um, so I can show it you later, I guess. This will also be online. Yeah, here, okay. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so, I mean, when I saw them there, we'd all go, you know, mm -hmm. slap hands, <laughs> and we're, you know, and so um, we went to the train station, uh, you know, to the Martyr. Oh, and I had gone in earlier in the week to buy some tickets, because I was fine, it was going to be crazy. Oh, to get your, like, Marta like card sorted out? Yeah. yeah. So I went and bought 10 or 12, I forget mm -hmm. now which, so that I could provide them to the girls okay. so that we didn't. But in fact, we went on uh, a fairly uh, far away. It was not the um, perimeter, it was the next one, which I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so that wasn't bad. And also, we left totally before the end, because... It got very protracted. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know whether you were aware. At that I went to the DC one. DC one. Yeah. Because we, we didn't start to march yeah. yet for a long, long, long time. And we, we were all having fun, you know. Band, you know. Yeah. But I also knew that um, I had back issues, that I couldn't stand forever. forever. Yeah. And I thought the trains are going to be crazy. Yeah. Maybe at about 4 o'clock, I think, we decided we would move. Yeah. Before so what time did you get down there? Oh, well, like, um, I would say, well, we went and had breakfast at, uh, not a Waffle House, but a, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think what, um, one of, um, Lynn will probably remember where we had breakfast. Was it like a Cracker Barrel? No, like it was in, in, right in town. Um, only it was a pizza place, so what, I was, oh, I know, um, what sort of, uh, ooh, it's a special name of a pizza place. And they serve breakfast? Well, no, we had pizza at breakfast. Pizza. You could have breakfast, as, you know. Okay. Blaney's? No, no, it's right in town. And they have various ones around the... the um, oh, they used to be in Decatur, a lot of... Uh, more of them. But, uh, Mellow Mushroom? Mellow Mushroom. There we go. So we went down Mellow okay. Mushroom. And the rain was, apparent, I mean, yeah. horrendous, so we just stepped into there. Oh, is this one downtown? Yes. Okay, I know exactly the one you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. And so that's where, and it's quite large. Mm -hmm. So everybody in there was. Yeah, really, there's like two floors. Yeah. yeah, was going to march. You yeah. could see the whole, and they were all totally overwhelmed <laughs> because you know. So um, yeah, so that it was great. Yeah. And my husband said when I got home, he said, "Well, oh, I said I wouldn't have missed it for mm -hmm. the world." You know, it was. Um, and Julie took her daughter, who is twelve, mm -hmm. and and she had, you know, she said, "Oh, Nanny Sue, it was mm -hmm. in the." She went up to. Uh, Washington, okay. yeah. and um, said, you know, wouldn't have, you know, the it, it was just the um, the feeling of unity, mm -hmm. the feeling of fe a fellowship. You know, what's happening is wrong. You know, we can't go down this route. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, you know so um, uh, that a man of that caliber could become president mm -hmm. seemed absolutely bizarre, mm -hmm. and still does. <laughs> Yeah. It hasn't changed, yeah. It doesn't change, you know. Yeah. Um, what issue is most important to you? I guess uh, feeling equal rights and kindness for everybody and the health care issue, mm -hmm. really. I mean, that, uh, that thank goodness the, um, they didn't repeal Obamacare. Thank goodness. I mean, having... I've just written a note... Uh, to Marie, I don't know whether I'll send it to the local paper or not. I, having been born in 1942, I was given total free medical mm -hmm. care. Um, 
you know, from a child. Mm -hmm. And sort of it wouldn't have been. And how they paid for that was whatever your salary is mm -hmm. at that time, a small percentage would be taken automatically by the government mm -hmm. to pay for that care. Mm -hmm. But it was not, because everybody pay, it, everybody was covered, yeah. it wasn't huge, you see. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, no, I mean, and to come here to the, a country which is so wealthy mm -hmm. and to find that it, it didn't exist here mm -hmm. was horrendous. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, which other country, I mean, Canada, I mean, every other civilized country <laughs> yeah. has health care. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, so health care and, and um, equal opportunities for all mm -hmm. uh, races and nationalities. Yeah. Because I don't think the color of your skin or where you're born or, you know, should in any way affect your presence in what I call the wonderful United States which it can be and has been mm -hmm. and can, can, can continue, continue to be yeah. with a little bit of um, maybe a change of president. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, what other issues did you see represented at your march and how do you feel about those issues? I thought everybody was on the same page. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't see, there was no negativity. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. In, in my view, mm -hmm. you know, everybody was going up, uh, you know. Yeah, no uh, counter protests no, or anything. No, not whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. Now, apparently there had been in the prior day in Washington all about mm -hmm. a sum, but no, not whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And um, met, as you say, I met a girl um, on, the, on the train who was from uh, Milton, Georgia, mm -hmm. you know, over by Alpharetta, yeah, yeah. and you know, sort of, and or, or, or can I come with you? We all, you know, we mm -hmm. all joined in. You know, it was sort of very much a unifying mm -hmm. um, time, really. Mm -hmm. And met, and we've all stayed in contact. Really? Yeah, yeah. I've heard that from a couple people where it's like they met someone and they connected during yeah. the march, mm -hmm. and then because of Facebook and email, you know, it's, yes, it's uh, a lot easier to keep in touch. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, um, um, was this your first? Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, was this your first time participating in some kind of oh, protest? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if so, why was it important that you participate now? Um, because I was feeling so many people were going to be hurt, mm. so terribly, terribly hurt, and I, I, um, ooh. Felt the pain my husband had been through as a kid, and I couldn't imagine that happening again. I'm sorry. No, no. It happens. You know. <laughs> I mean, this is real, real life, real emotions. And yeah. And the stakes are high. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, his friends, some of his Jewish friends, just disappeared. You know, people were stoned. I mean, you know, abominations. Yeah. And he was a seven-year-old kid. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got to be sobering to hear him say what you said earlier, but, like, he did. He start, He had this happen to him when he was young. He can't yeah, right. have it happen to him again. Yeah. Yeah. And when the Americans came in and, uh, you know, uh, t at the end of World War Two, he was there when, um, what's his name? Oh, and he threw what, uh, chewing gum. <laughs> And, and, uh, and George caught it, and mm -hmm. then, of course, in came communism, so yeah. 43 years of communism. And we, what is equally amazing about this is that Dubček came in uh, to give communism a gentler face mm -hmm. uh, prior, I'm just trying, I wish I knew exactly the dates, but, um, but uh, Russia didn't want this to happen. Mm -hmm. So they, we were there with my family, Mm -hmm. um, uh, visiting Prague it was the first time and I'm not sure it must uh, well it was 68 when the Russians marched in so it must have been 68 mm -hmm. um, that we were there and my husband spoke to Dubček mm -hmm. himself mm -hmm. they just met by uh, by chance that's crazy yeah, yeah. and uh, he George is rather like what's his um, name um, Gump Oh yeah, <laughs> he seems to be always seems to be 
in a most unusual place mm -hmm. and meet most unusual people. But anyway, we were literally driving from um, Prague into Germany when the Russians marched in behind wow. us that night. Wow. And the children were saying, because of course it became radio, and it, will they catch us, will they catch us? Mm -hmm. No, no, we're, we're okay. Yeah. And we had a Czech girl with us mm -hmm. whose father, in fact, under Dubček, um, the uh, Prime Minister before the Russians, had been given the highest award for being a phenomenal pilot, mm. you know, Czech pilot mm -hmm. in World War Two. So, and she came and lived with us and never went back. Wow. She got, she got out. She got out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, as you see, we've seen all sorts of... Um, and I think that's what frightens my husband incredibly, mm -hmm. is that it's, it's uh, people accepting what's happening without realizing how, how, um, how democracy can so be overrun so easily. Mm -hmm. That it's such a very, it's very, um, people let things happen without yeah. realizing they're letting it happen. And, yeah. you know. and it culminates. And Bannon yeah. and people like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, before the march, what were you expecting or hoping to get out of that experience? Like, did you just a, a joining of friends in, in mutual mm -hmm. um, mutual support? Mm -hmm. uh, I I felt that you know I felt like this pussy riot. Mm -hmm. I knew enough about Russia mm -hmm. to know what, uh, you know, uh, that sort of, uh, you know, uh, government creates. Right. And that these women were uh, regular women mm -hmm. um, doing something, a, a band, having a rock band, mm -hmm. and then they're put in prison. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so I, th I know enough to know what can happen so quickly. Mm -hmm. Because most people um, are not aware or close their eyes. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I say a lot. I find myself saying I feel like people are burying their heads. Oh, in the totally. Sand. Yeah. And my husband goes to the dog park, you know, every day, and people will say to him, "Well, I mean, you know, uh, it's he's no worse than Hillary," and he, my husband will say, "Well, excuse me, <laughs> how can you compare the two? Mm -hmm. I mean, a he has no experience. Mm -hmm. She's extremely experienced. She would never have, you know, and uh, you know, so." I mean, and she was, everyone was saying, put her to jail, put her to jail. Mm -hmm. And here he is virtually committing treason, which I think he is. Mm -hmm. yeah, and exactly. hopefully will be found that he has, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. But I mean, um, he should be sent to jail. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's yeah. me. Uh, were your friends and family supportive? Oh, very much so. Okay. Yeah. 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 And my husband, put, you know, said, Go girl. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, in a way, he was um, uh, because he's older and he's eighty-five, and um, it wasn't really something he could do as a right, man. Right. But he was absolutely, wholeheartedly behind the whole group of us, mm -hmm. and and Marie, and of course we knew Marie mm -hmm. uh, because uh, uh, Don bought the land from my husband, who oh, was stranger, okay. and they built their house here. So we've known them for some time, mm -hmm. and of course Marie, as you know, worked in the um, HUD yeah. housing mm -hmm. yeah. for the Obama administration. Mm -hmm. So, um, but you know, I I just thought uh, I just couldn't believe that somebody as narcissistic, um, egomaniac mm -hmm. <laughs> could an egomaniac. Uh, and doesn't speak a word of truth could follow such a man of integrity. Like Obama. Yeah. yeah. That n people couldn't see the difference and that he tweets yeah. all this, you know, stupid shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, he can't ha have a, a regular conversation. Well, I guess his, he does. His speeches are incredible. Oh, a big league. Oh, I <laughs> yeah. mean, my yeah. husband writes, and this is incredible about George, he writes extremely well. I mean, he's about trilingual, but, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, I mean, he can just joke about sort of how his composition, because it, you know, it has no ability yeah. to write or yeah. to, you know. I mean, after Michelle uh, <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and, and, um, and, and, uh, and Barack, 
I mean, it's you know, it's been you know, unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Um, can you describe the group you traveled to march with? Um, yes, we came. Uh, two of them, two were teachers. In fact, one of the girls who now lives in uh, Colorado mm -hmm. um, used to teach my handicapped son. Oh wow! In Atlanta, and she, mo we were in Bentry uh, one day. Um, and and she uh, somebody just sort of about about fifty uh, or twenty five yards away, mm -hmm. and she said, "Must have heard my voice. That's not Sue Justice, is it?" <laughs> I said, "Oh my God, Julie Jordan!" And so we, mm -hmm. you know, and they that was their second home, and so we started, you know, connect again. Mm -hmm. But as you say, she had Robert in Atlanta for a couple of years, I suppose, wow. as a student. Yeah, and then Lynn was. Um, I, I'm not sure how I met Len, just socially, mm -hmm. you know, and, I mean, uh, and obviously the connection was that we thought alike, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, one of the girls here is a yoga teacher, that's, uh, she's not here today, mm -hmm. um, uh, Ellen Painter, okay. and another lady who is, uh, is m I don't know so well, is quite quiet, and, um, and I'm trying to remember her name, but, uh, you know, it's sort of... My project suddenly was to knit all the hats, <laughs> and and it wasn't that I was given that task, mm -hmm. but I just sort of felt that was something I could do, because mm -hmm. I enjoy knitting. But I, I did feel a little odd going to the knitting shop in Ella J. Oh, um, and being like, can I have your pink yarn? And, and I think I'll have another, you know, five. You know. <laughs> and I think, well, what are you knitting? Oh, well, something for my granddaughters. Yeah. I didn't. I wasn't bold enough to, yeah. to say that. Because they would have said, "What pussy, pussy, pussy hands!" Mm -hmm. You know, they they are sufficiently the ladies of the store. Um, how should we say? Um, oh, um, very much uh, Baptist. Oh, yeah. You know, don't talk like, like that. Yeah. You know, in other words. Even if you're talking about pussy cats. Right, pussy right, right. Hands. But yeah. I, you know, I sort of. Um, but would you, would you tell them now? Perhaps me being me, I would still find it, yeah. it uncomfortable. Yeah. I mean, just because um, perhaps I would, perhaps yeah. I would be bold now. Yeah. Just because I think it's such a frigging mess, oh, excuse yeah. me, <laughs> frigging <laughs> mess we're in, that, I mean, if it makes them think that I think mm -hmm. differently, mm -hmm. um, you know. Yeah, that's the thing that I often worry about is that, you know, there are a lot of people in Georgia, especially that just assume they're surrounded by conservatives. Yes. Yeah. That I can sometimes rock their boat to be like, oh, that's, I didn't think you would think that it's way. That way, no, yeah. no, no. And I think more people are beginning to think yeah. that way. The yeah. bottom, uh, you know, um, Marie has mentioned one of the people who live in here, mm -hmm. sort of when her husband was talking, or maybe she was talking to them, mm -hmm. sort of said, well, I guess he is a bit sort of, you know, yeah. Because you, you don't have to be, you know, highly educated to realize what a, an absurd man he is to mm -hmm. be president. Mm -hmm. and, but then, and, and the, he has, of course, these rallies, which I don't know how accurate the numbers are. And then, you know, sort of, and then they're shouting out, put her in prison, put her in prison. I'm thinking, you know, yeah. Yeah. but... Um, I'm just trying to think. Bill Maher was on last night, and there was um, a, a writer, and I'm trying to think of his name, who writes about tyranny. Mm -hmm. And if you look up tyranny on the computer, you'll find his name. He's written several books, and I've I've ordered the one called Tyranny because it is how step by step by step you realize it begins to happen. But yeah. How it's ch changing over time, and you don't mm. even realize. And it. you don't realize yeah. it, yeah. you know. And I think that's the thing that George found as a kid, is it's uh, you suddenly find that um, people just begin to accept it. The, yeah, they become complicit. Yes, they, yes, yeah. and sort of, and then they end up changing on people. They, you know, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I know there was a lady who because. George's father had left for England um, just before the war. He mm -hmm. was a very competent 
builder and um, engineer uh, with the view to getting the family out mm -hmm. right but it didn't happen and um, his mother got some odd letters from from him mm -hmm. and uh, George was very curious what they meant so he uh, he went to a lady a German lady who spoke English mm -hmm. and uh, and I guess he was about how would, old would he have been 12 13 probably at this mm -hmm. stage what does this mean and she said well you know uh, year she George and I think possibly you know dad's having a bit of an affair or something mm -hmm. like that you know but uh, I don't know but anyway very shortly after that because she was German mm -hmm. and this was Czechoslovakia right mm -hmm. the Czech Republic she was being dragged out of her mm -hmm. um, apartment and Al and George actually stood up for her mm -hmm. and managed to pull her to safety mm -hmm. as a young boy yeah. because he she had been so kind to him but it caused in other words people to turn on people yeah. you know and uh, he said that's the one thing Sue I feel very proud of that I was able as a child of that age to um, pull her to safely safety so yeah. she wouldn't be victimized yeah. you, know. um, you mentioned your husband was half Jewish which parent of his was Jewish? Um, his father okay mm -hmm. and he would say he never admitted he was Jewish okay right yeah because he had uh, as I understand it at the age of about um, 18 or what you know, mm -hmm. when he was going to university in in Hungary his father was Hungarian mm -hmm. um, he had a couple of his friends um, killed mm -hmm. by virtue of being stoned or you know mm -hmm. uh, in the, and so he always felt because he was blue-eyed that he didn't have to accept the fact that right. he was Jewish right. and um, so um, then he went to the, uh, the to Prague and finished studying at mm -hmm. the uh, Charles University and mm -hmm. then met George's mother who was who was um, of the Czech brethren and so it was mm -hmm. you know and she never knew oh, okay she never knew he was Jewish either yeah. so it's interesting isn't yeah it? Mm -hmm. how so old was he when he figured out that he was probably half Jewish because um, like you would think that would make yeah. it even scarier right well I think declare. George began because he realized that he'd been circumcised oh. right yeah. but it, the other thing which I feel very proud of my husband when his father died he found in his desk a whole lot of letters from mm -hmm. his father's sister mm -hmm. who Nancy who had been to Israel and then went on to Australia and so he got in contact with her by he took all the letters she had written to him mm -hmm. to some um, somewhere to have them uh, translated mm -hmm. and found out all his father's history mm -hmm. so he got in touch with her and in fact Robert was about two years old and he said Sue I want to go and see Nancy I want to find out mm -hmm. all about dad so he then flew out to Australia mm -hmm. to find out about all about his father yeah. and she his uh, her his sister in Australia absolutely adored him and she could never understand why he never replied to her you know so you know um, and now in fact we are very close touch with um, his aunt's uh, family so yeah. I mean you know the uh, and she was always said to George she felt so grateful and happy that he had found her he had found her yeah, yeah. that's awesome mm. So you can see there's a lot of um, history that we envelop really mm -hmm. because because of where George grew up yeah and um, so you know it's sort of the whole scene is so so similar to what he must be you know, witnessed Similarly, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean not fully yet but he says right. it's only it, it goes in stages well, Hitler know. was elected yeah you exactly know, like exactly. people elected him mm -hmm. and then it that's when everything started right. to change, change. Yeah. yeah and uh, you know so um, yeah. yeah you know it just um what were your feelings before during and after the march i was very excited yeah 
I was thrilled that I was that I I felt I couldn't well I couldn't go with Marie mm -hmm. because obviously I couldn't justify the expense for myself to do it the way she was doing it and she could go you know with you know so anyway mm -hmm. that but I was thrilled to be doing it because my daughter was doing it mm -hmm. and she was taking three buses and and she was thrilled that I was participating mm -hmm. too you know she was so supportive and said oh mom that's great you know mm -hmm. so it was sort of um, it, it sort of feels like George and Julie and me mm -hmm. and you know it, it sort of um, and, and Lily a grand it was it, I felt it was helping the healing if you like for George mm -hmm. in a way mm -hmm. that sounds strange Just probably isn't it? well to see two three women that he loves greatly mm. going out there yeah and representing him in mm. essence yeah, yeah. So, um, yes, and I, I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Yeah. I really wouldn't. Yeah. You know, and people, Jenny, who um, went up to Chattanooga felt, felt the same. Yeah. You know, all the women who have participated, I think, has none, not one of them have regretted the fact that they yeah. did. Yeah. You know. But, like, during the march, were you, was that excitement still there? Oh, or yes. Or were you just flying high? No. Oh, oh, the yeah. excitement. No, I mean, well, it was just because you looked at the banners. Mm -hmm. And you know, oh yeah, I mean, you which know, ones were your favorites? Oh, which I, ones? Yeah, which I mean, ones? Which ones? We all took pictures, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I thought that was incredible. I'd honestly prefer a natural swamp, you know, <laughs> and all that. And then, which was the other one? And the one Lynn made, I thought was wonderful. Be careful who you hate. Mm -hmm. It may be someone you love. Mm. That's a good one. You know, and she made that. And um, I carried that all the way, yeah. you know, and um, and you know uh, what was the, uh, I, I want to see your taxes, of course. Mm -hmm. And this I thought was beautiful: super callous, fragile, mm -hmm. racist, extra, extra braggadocious, <laughs> you know, of Trump. So I mean, yeah, I mean, there was so many. Yeah, I don't know that I saw a bad sign. No, you yeah. didn't. I mean, there wasn't. You yeah. know, so. I mean, creativity at its best, mm -hmm. you know, under, under, that undeniably. Mm -hmm. What about chants? What were your favorite chants? Chants? Yeah. Um, I don't remember exactly. That would be true, you okay. know, you know. We had the, this is what, wait, show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. I think like. In, in Washington they were chanting more yeah. Julie related okay. to that. Okay, okay. Um, here, it, we, we're all waiting, mm -hmm. uh, we knew John Lewis was there, we we're all waiting for things to happen, but mm -hmm. I think they were so overwhelmed with the uh, numbers, yeah. and they hadn't prepared for that. Yeah. And of course, there were no loudspeakers, right. so you didn't know. Yeah. So it was more within the group you were within, mm -hmm. you know, and then they it would, uh, odd chant would start, but it would die out because... We weren't going anywhere, right, right. so you to were speak. Right, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I mean, so I guess it's a good problem to have that more people showed up. Oh, and, especially in a southern city. Like well, Canada. and the funny thing was, yeah. this is what uh, absolutely threw me. As we were going away at four o'clock, people were still coming yeah. in. Yeah. Well, was that by then had the rain let yes, up? Yes. Yeah, yes. So that probably helped too. Uh, significantly. I mean, we went in the at the you know, at the worst possible time. Mm -hmm. But thank goodness to the Mellow Mushroom, you know. <laughs> we en we enjoy that. Yeah. and um, They have great crust. Yeah, absolutely. Crust. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, that was... Uh, so that saved us about half an hour. Of, uh, but, I mean, when you looked out of the window mm -hmm. and saw people walking down that, you sort of think, wow, isn't that incredible? Mm -hmm. They This means something to them. They're, they're willing to come through yeah. this. They weren't turned away. They weren't turned away. Yeah. No way, no way. Yeah. That's Absolutely. Um, so you said you were waiting for John Lewis. Did you ever... No, I didn't see him, okay. sadly. Okay. Because I have such admiration for that mm -hmm. man. And uh, that he was on the Selma... Ah, oh, I mean, yeah. uh, in a way... That he was also an inspiration. I thought, my God, he was beaten. And, of course, the film was made. And I'm thinking, here am I. Uh, I if I can't do something now, I mean, I'm 75, when, you know, uh, I just felt I had to. Yeah. Mm. That it was your time. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Um, can you describe your interaction with any law enforcement there or how they presented themselves at the march? Did no. you even see them? I re- really not. Yeah. They were very, um, I would say they were extremely um, uh, cau- uh, not cautious, but very caring not to cause any mm-hmm. accidents. They mm-hmm. wanted it to be peaceful. Yeah. So they were very much on the signed lines and only making sure that the traffic could get through, right. but n- nothing else, no. no. Okay. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Did you see any opposition protesters? No. Mm-hmm. I didn't, personally. Yeah, yeah. I don't know whether anybody else did, but yeah. I didn't. We, uh, we as a group didn't. I mean, uh, I think people on the train sort of wondered who, when we were first going in. Mm. Well, because you were further at north, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know, so I'm carrying signs and probably, you know, <laughs> but I mean, there was no comment. It was yeah. just that you probably had a few odd looks. Mm-hmm. Particularly when you were in pussy, you know. This right, pussy. yeah. <laughs> Half of them didn't know, of course, what it was. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, there we go. And uh, I was very proud that I had that, actually. That mm-hmm. was sort of, um, sort of, uh, felt I wanted to make a statement. Yeah. And I felt I did by. Well, and like Pussy Riot, everyone talked about Pussy Riot like two years ago, but like no, it's still no. really relevant if you yeah. think about like what what's it going represented. On. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 Um, what did you think about the coverage in the media of the of the Atlanta march or the DC march? I spe- I I was surprised even how much was covered in the in in the um, Atlanta mm-hmm. um, that they covered it as well as well as they did. Um, I suppose w- when I saw the huge uh, crowds in Washington, I was thrilled and and I absolutely laughed my socks off. When I heard him say that for the inauguration he had had bigger crowds, and, you know, I mean, I sort of look at the fucking oh excuse me, <laughs> look at okay. both, you can say it. look at the fucking photographs, <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, hard to argue with, yeah, hard to yeah. argue, but I mean, yeah, but of course it, it, it was so much more bigly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's I mean, you know, I can't believe his language sometimes. Yeah, I mean, in, for simple, I mean, I question. His intelligence, mm-hmm. but anyway, that's the least of what my worries with him. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, so you and your group, how did you guys manage to stay together pretty easily, or did you like talk yeah, about uh, what you were gonna do? Well, ahead of time? some of them uh, did decide to. We decided to go home. I mm-hmm. think you know uh, some of us, and it was just arranged politely. Some of them waited so that they could march and did. Mm-hmm. And Jane, I think, who's not here. Mm-hmm. Um, was one of the ones who did march. Yet they, oh, we did march, but by that time I was a worried about you know my husband mm-hmm. and being overly late, yeah. and we've got dogs and other things. It yeah. just seemed that it, it was time. <laughs> well, my, you had a track, uh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So um, and I, I was also worried, which it was the case, is that Marta would become a crazy, and mm-hmm. I mean um, I didn't feel I physically could cope with that. Yeah, you know, like so. Really drains, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, are there any moments that stood out to you from that day? Uh, seeing my three folks from my church there, mm-hmm. because um, I knew, you know, it's a church here, it's a, you know, a physical mm-hmm. church, and I know Susan Yandel, who was one in the photograph, um, and two others are the minister's wives, and I know mm-hmm. it must be very hard for them because a significant portion of their congregation must be a Republican. Mm-hmm. And I have full admiration, I don't know whether you have read uh, an article in the Pickens Progress from last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, Greg Pope, uh, wrote, he's the minister at the Baptist Church here, and he wrote the most incredible piece. Oh wow. You know about, yeah. yes, and you really need to read that. Um, because that was in the Pickens progress. What what did it? Oh, discuss? how it, you know how um, you know we have to. Christ would have reacted like we're talking. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. In other words, kindness, thought. You know, mm-hmm. uh, love your neighbor. Mm-hmm. You know, and you. How can you let all this happen without? Res- you know, it's it's just a wonderful piece. Yeah. I mean, um, I well, it doesn't matter. I wrote yes, my husband wrote, but I mean, he's had an abundance of letters mm-hmm. pe- of people saying how you know he was uh, stood up for what he believed mm-hmm. 
and and in a difficult situation. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, he, I don't know how the Baptist ministry takes it, but he saved. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, well, I know what I was going to say to you. Mm -hmm. This is what absolutely throws me. Somebody like Kelly Ann Conway, right? Mm -hmm. She has children. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what ages they are. How does she tell them what is truth? When she's giving us alternative facts. Yes, I mean, facts are facts. Yeah. I mean, do you learn math with an alternative, you know? Mm -hmm. Does three and five make nine? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And how, how do you, I mean, to me, I can't imagine, I mean, even if I'm belittling myself to the children, well, I shouldn't, perhaps I shouldn't have done that or maybe, you know, we could have done it differently. How does she address her family mm -hmm. and have a have a backbone then? Mm -hmm. I mean, you sold, she sold her soul, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. I mean, and maybe, but has she no idea that that's what she's done? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, that's what I, you know, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I don't consider myself deeply religious, but I do feel that we are here to uh, to be kind and, and to ha treat others as we would have them treat ourselves. Mm -hmm. I, I feel that intensely. Yeah. I mean, you know, I could no more... You know, you know. Yeah, taking away the health care of oh. poor people and sick people. Well, I've just written a small article upstairs which... Uh, comments on the fact that, of course, I grew up in in England mm. with NHS, National mm -hmm. Health Insurance, and um, my father had been badly injured in World War Two when a bomb exploded, mm -hmm. and it it was an incendiary bomb, but it was the first one that became explosive, or first type that became explosive. Mm -hmm. He went to get rid of the incendiary, and it blew up and virtually mm -hmm. took his leg away. Oh so. Um, he then spent three months in hospital uh, and, of course, didn't pay a penny. Mm -hmm. right? And then I grew up, I had a broken arm, I think, uh, <laughs> uh, more than once. Mm -hmm. And um, then I had dental care and braces, mm -hmm. never paid a penny. Yeah. Now, the NHS works on a system that uh, you, w you pay a very small portion of mm -hmm. your salary to the government mm -hmm. because in other words it's everybody it covers everybody mm -hmm. so everybody Pays has to them. pay minimum yeah. and uh, Clement Attlee who was the Prime Minister after Winston Churchill was the one who actually got it fully you know the in, place, yeah. in place so that everybody was covered mm -hmm. and remains so today mm -hmm. to this day you know so so you had a good experience. Oh, that. absolutely. Yeah. And in fact, my, my what I call my uh, second daughter, she's a young girl who is a, a doctor too. Mm -hmm. um, her father died and he was very good friends with George. Mm -hmm. And in fact, he supported George when the Russians marched into Prague because mm -hmm. he was a... He was in the government in England at that time, so we had a demonstration mm -hmm. against Russia <laughs> in in Birmingham, England, where we were living, and uh, he w died very shortly after that. And prior to his death, his, George said, "Well, is there anything I can do for you, Wallace?" And he said, "Well, one thing I would really appreciate is if you can help take care of Caroline." Mm -hmm. So from that day onwards, any vacation she just came and spent with us. Mm -hmm. And so she really is like a second daughter. And wow. then she studied medicine and is in the NHS in, oh, over in, in, the, in, UK. in, in the UK. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Um, going back to the march, um, mm -hmm. did you feel emotional at any time? Oh, yes. Can you talk about that? Well, it's not hard for me to be emotional. Yeah. You know? yeah. I mean, um, I suppose when I'm thinking of... And particularly, even more so since with the uh, uh, affordable care, yeah. seeing people who would die. Yeah, if it's it was very real. Yeah. I mean, that is so, so real mm -hmm. to me. Because I know the situations Robert has been in. Mm. We had him in care for a very short time. And, we, and he ended up 
being pushed down the stairs and then you know, Eggleston in intensive care. Oh my gosh. And um, you know, you realize um, that if we hadn't had um, insurance coverage, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, we were fortunate, you yeah. know, in many ways. Yeah. But cool. for those who haven't, I mean, and you know, and and still there are people I know who don't want to buy, you know, and you sort of think, well, you know, it just seems so crazy that you don't have insurance. Yeah. You know, and uh, Obama, and this is even with Obamacare, some of the people I know have not. Mm -hmm. you know, They've opted to pay the penalty. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hoping that they're never sick. Good luck. You know, <laughs> exactly. But, yeah. you know, I have been. I mean, for all the um, interesting and unusual aspects of our life, I suppose we've been fortunate that, A, I have only one husband <laughs> <laughs> who cares deeply about me and the family, and um, that we have had a sufficient means mm -hmm. to buy insurance, mm -hmm. health insurance. But no, it was the whole th occasion was sort of emotional for mm -hmm. me, just to see that amount of people so sincerely concerned mm -hmm. about what was happening. Yeah. Well, I spe especially, I mean, Georgia when they were, it was red, but like Atlanta was purple. Right. And it, well, we actually thought it might go, go blue. blue. Yeah. But I mean, like, I probably didn't know, you know what, I'm not the only person. I, there, there are more like-minded people in this state than I thought there yes, would be. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And it's, as you say, you have to find them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, but my, the interesting thing is I found with George going to the dog park, which is one of his joys, he loves the dog, but he's, it's amazing how many people he's slowly beginning to make think. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not saying he totally, but he said, ah, he said, uh, you know, it's, it's amazing that uh, when people only watch Fox, mm -hmm. Oh, and we had on the back of our car until, unfortunately, the back car, the, the, uh, the what you call it, the um, trunk, mm -hmm. got damaged. Um, George had a statement which said, um, uh, thinking is the other, uh, what is it? Um, is, the, uh, is the other national deficit. <laughs> <laughs> the other national, you know, thinking. And, yeah. and uh, you know, good. people would come up and sort of say, well, what? What does that mean? Mm -hmm. And George said, "Well, have you ever?" Or I would say, "Have you ever w sort of watched more than one television program? Not just mm -hmm. M MSNBC or mm -hmm. CNN, as well as Fox. Mm -hmm. Got to, you know, think. Yeah, you know, to expose yourself so, to, to a different uh, point right, of view. Right. Yeah, because we will, we will watch Fox to see what shit they write. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like. I, it's torture, but I go read the comments on yeah. news articles on Facebook just so I can be like, what's the other side, side saying of, about yes, What's their reaction to, to it? it? It's good, too, because at least you know, uh, but definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I love Rachel Maddow. Yeah. She's one totally. smart woman. Yes, she is. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see about buses. How did you feel the day after the march? Um, equally as elated. Mm -hmm. Because I could see, <laughs> I could see the volume. I mean, I heard from Julie, you know, mm -hmm. and and my granddaughter, and the you know the uh, enthusiasm and the joy mm -hmm. they had felt by being present. Yeah. So yes, I mean, it continued. Mm -hmm. It absolutely continued and rolled on. And what have you been feeling since the march? Obviously, a lot has gone down. So like that's a loaded question. Uh, what uh, what have I been fe feeling that? Uh, I've we've be got a group called Women Watch, mm -hmm. which you've already heard of, and we've got our I you know, and so, um, what have I been doing as regards it? Uh, we I went with Marie, went down to the state capital, mm -hmm. to um, you know, and this is all new stuff mm -hmm. for me, never been Learned politically lobby, active, lobby, but yeah. to s observe and yeah. to participate and sort of say well, before the of course because of the uh, uh, the a ACA. They were, you know, thinking, and also the uh, reassigning the um, what's the word I want, changing the areas of oh, redrawing the, the districts, right, yeah, and sort of saying, well, gerrymandering, yeah. 
you know, what are you thinking about all of that? So, because you realise, and they said it always happens both sides. Think, well, maybe, but, you know. At least, again, I was... I was willing to be, if you say, a, a, a person in the door mm -hmm. facing them. Mm -hmm. In other words, I wasn't as able or um, as competent as Marie as saying anything. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I was there with her. Right. And you were a number. We, yeah, we were in number. Being, you were being counted. So we were being counted. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, um, and, and what else have I done? Now I've written an article. Mm -hmm. and um, That was your first one? Yes. Okay. This is the one I've just written. Yeah. This first one. Okay. My husband writes better and more, but <laughs> but um, no. So um, yes, I I really feel it's necessary. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we are already planning to go to the mar the other marches. Oh, like the is there the march for science, right? Yes. And then there's the tax one. It's fun, the tax the yeah. tax one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the tax one. Yeah. And there's another one. I don't know. I've got it in my diary, but I mean, I think there are three within a very short mm -hmm. uh, like span the of time. Month and a half almost. Yeah. yeah. But again, I mean, it's obviously this the change in the uh, ACA was all because people, you know, went to town halls, mm -hmm. went Spoke and up. knocked on doors, yeah. and sort of. And suddenly there were people there, and they had to either get out the back door or mm -hmm. face their, you know, constituents. Yeah. And they don't like that. No, which they shouldn't feel that way. You know, they, <laughs> they should. But feel I mean, uh, but you know, they're a lot. They're mostly, uh, you know, Republicans, and they're mm -hmm. they're trying to, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you do? What do you plan to do now that you're? done with the march I mean obviously you said you're going to do more, more marches marching. are you yeah. going to continue lobbying yes I, I don't know quite which way my will go mm -hmm. because I don't feel as um, intellectually comfortable doing that um, but I will do what I think I can yeah so um, as you say what what it will be I don't know mm -hmm. really. I mean the marching for sure yeah and then it, it's um, it's like everything else. It's uh, baby steps, isn't it? Mm -hmm. One thing leads to another. Yeah. You get more confident. Right. You're dipping your toe in the water. Yes. Right. right now, that's what figuring out what feels right. Well, maybe I can swim. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So uh, I mean, particularly at my age, it it isn't um, quite as easy as. And I'm not. You know, I I do Facebook, but I don't do it as much. Mm. But um, I also we also have this group called Appalachian Indivisibles. Okay. And um, so um, we meet, uh, we, we've got things going, mm -hmm. and there's women watch. So I'm belonging to two different things. Okay. So uh, as to what our next uh, project is, I mean, we've obviously got a group of us are looking into the uh, R Russian connection, mm -hmm. a lot, you know, and sort of trying to... Um, uh, uh, Designate various people to specific aspects yeah. of things we're looking into, mm -hmm. but again, it's the activity. We're 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 committed to try and help. Right. We're try try committed to try and getting the asshole out of the mm -hmm. office. In other words, get him impeached, right. basically. Um, that kind of answers the next question. What do you hope will happen? You want to see him? Okay. Impeach. There we impeach. go. Yeah. Yes. Impeach. Um. And I think, in other words, for the people who can do it whether it's Comey whether you know who I really love oh what's who was the lady who was um, pushed out of her position um, very elegant lady who was was it oh um, who was Sally the, yeah Sally Yates Sally Yates yeah I'd love to see her run for president yeah you know eventually but I mean she at least it, it is is a shining light she stood up she stood up mm -hmm. and she could nail him I really think she could. I think that she's, oh, <laughs> you know. I mean, she reminds me of my daughter mm -hmm. in, or my, my daughter-in-law mm -hmm. who, with the ability yeah. to be able to do that. Yeah. And she's in the position to. Mm -hmm. you know? I heard that she was talking, there was, there was talk that she may run for governor. Right. Oh. Georgia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for Georgia? Mm -hmm. Is she from Georgia? She's from, yeah, she went to Emory. Oh, no. Yeah, so she's, she's a, actually, no, she went to Georgia, University of Georgia. Georgia. And, but then was in Atlanta before. Well, she I went mean, Dion needs yeah. to go. Yeah. 
Cool. Well, this is, is this his last term? Is it? I think so. But, like, obviously, I guess next year is our governor's race, so. Oh, that oh, would be brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but, I mean, she, oh, I mean, spectacular. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and that's the other thing with Trump. He's just emptied all the offices. Mm-hmm. All there the is, like, no one working right now. Nobody knows yeah. what the frig they're doing. Yeah, yeah. And he sure doesn't. No, he doesn't. My, my language is bad, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, um, We're all adults. Okay? Yeah, I know. Yeah. But I, when I start talking about him, my, my language goes a little yeah, ooh, crazy. Yeah, I know Yeah. Um, what do, what do you fear? I mean, obviously we've talked about oh very much right. that it could uh, with the we we it could our democracy could get overturned yeah and it could be uh, you know like uh, you know not not communist could be I mean you know just a, a country like um, mm-hmm. Russia mm-hmm. totally under control mm-hmm. uh, dominate uh, domination by a Hitler or you know mm-hmm. yeah it's totally possible oh yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, it's such a fra- democracy. My husband said, "Sue, it is such a fragile, fragile thing. If only people realized mm-hmm. how fr- fragile it is and how quickly it, it, can, it can be taken away." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that is, and hearing him say that is the thing that uh, really unnerves me. Yeah. Because he knows. Yeah. He's seen it before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, well. You, You've already answered this. Will you continue to support the mission of the march by attending future marches? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Do you feel that the movement can maintain momentum, or is it moti- yes, maintaining momentum? Yes, it is. Yeah. Because I think there's enough of us that are sufficiently agitated and enth- agitated and enthusiastic mm-hmm. to want to make sure there's a change. Yeah. Well, I think, and yet, yeah, like if this week's events have shown us anything, it's that. It it's the activists. Yeah. It's the activists. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know, and the oh yeah, 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 yeah. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Be heard. Be heard. Yeah. Yeah. Did any part of the march surprise you? The numbers. Yeah. The numbers, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, it was a wonderful surprise, but it it, it did surprise me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what strategies can you suggest for people to cope with what's happening right now? Like, yeah. what have what have you and your husband done, or your daughter? Um, listen, listen, uh, listen, and not keep your ears open. And I mean, in the sense of um, listening to both stations, mm-hmm. you know, and understand exactly what is being said mm-hmm. and how Trump is is compromising and is compromised by his association with Russia. Mm-hmm. And it's interesting that how shitty he was with Angela Merkel, mm-hmm. who is, has a brain twice as large as his. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's got a PhD. I mean, he's multilingual. Yeah. And he hasn't even the decency to shake a hand. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, we are looked, we used to be looked on uh, after World War Two as the you know, the great America will save, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, who's going to save us? Mm-hmm. Who? Not Angela Merkel, the way he's treating her. No, no, yeah. exactly. And, I mean, do you think, I mean, Putin would like us to, you know, I mean, I th- I think he's got some real hang over Trump. Mm-hmm. Financial be, yeah. or, you know, the oligarchs of the, the oil and the... Mm-hmm. And the money, money, money. I mean, is it Cyprus who, that la- launders all this, you know, mm-hmm. oil money? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, you know, stuff I don't know or, you know, yeah. uh, I have no uh, knowledge of. But there's an awful, he's got an awful lot to hide. Mm-hmm. Awful lot to hide. And Lynn was saying, actually, on the way here, that, uh, what's his name? The uh, guy who was arrested. Um, Oh, Michael Flynn? Yeah, yeah, is deciding he wants to talk. I heard that this morning, that he wants, he wants to be a witness for the FBI now. Yeah, yeah. If that's so, true, that would be crazy. I haven't checked the news anymore. Well, no, that. I'm just yeah. but yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah, that would be big. But, but I mean, oh, he must be shitting in his pants, he does. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, yeah. he's, he's probably, uh, I mean, 
You know, I feel, well, again, rather like Kellyanne Conway, I cannot imagine how his daughter thinks or his, how he's indoctrinated them. Mm -hmm. I know he obviously holds huge money things over them, but nevertheless, do they not see? Mm -hmm. You know, you have to feel something, don't you? That's what you think, right? You would think they... But, I mean, he doesn't, though, does he? No, but, I mean, the people around him, his children, yeah. you would hope. You, you would hope. believe you, that. You would like to believe yeah. that. Actually, for themselves, I would like to believe that. For their children? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's all the questions. Well, thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I've spouted plenty. Yeah, no, no, but, you were but great. But, I mean, uh, but... Um, Nice to, you know, I'm glad we did that. Yeah, it was great. Right. Thank you so much. Oh, and um, I will stop.